Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another episode of Free Plugin Weekly. Today we're checking out the Isotope Vocal Doubler. It's a free plugin. Uh, when you download it, you do have to create an Isotope account, and you do have to get a serial number for it to authorize it, but it's completely free. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it's a pretty cool, very simple vocal doubler. And if you're just starting off getting into the world of using third-party plugins, this might be a good starting point for doubling your vocals, thickening your vocals. So first, let's give the song a listen. Some of you guys might recognize this from the early days of my YouTube channel. The vocals are completely dry with no time-based effects at all. Next, let's give those vocals a listen soloed. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light. So you can hear there's a bit of headphone bleed in the background, but we'll work around it. Let me turn on vocal doubler here. And this plugin's really simple. There's really only three controls. There's a separation control, a variation control. There's a option to turn on just the effect only. So this mute uh, the dry signal, and then amount. This is the amount of the doubling effect. And you can also control this uh, from this single little slider here in the middle. So when you pull this up or pull it out, this increases the separation. So this is like a timing variation between the original and the doubled vocal. And as you swing this around, you get more pitch variation. So you can use these two in tandem to have the doubled vocals slightly delayed from the dry signal, but also vary their pitch a bit. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light. The ruined life behind us is no more. And again, if you want to hear less of the effect, you can roll it down right here. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light the ruined life behind us is no more pray for life and pray for forgiveness now typically with any sort of time-based effect including vocal doublers i like to actually put these on an aux channel rather than on the the dry channel so what i'm going to do is just remove this from the actual channel strip create a bus i'll go to bus eight so I'll create a new aux track for me, and I'll just call this a doubler. I'll throw the isotope doubler on here. And what I'll do is I'll turn this on effect only, so we only hear the wet signal coming off this aux track. I'm also going to make uh, the send pre-fader so I can just listen to the doubling effect by itself. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light. The ruined life behind us is no more. So now I can blend in that doubling effect only where I need it. And I can even automate the fader to pull it up at certain points and pull it down at other points. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light. The ruined life behind us is no more. So it's a bit of a thickening effect. Um, it's a little bit of a chorus effect as well. Uh, almost like a little bit of a slap back delay in there, a really quick slap back delay in there. Let's give this a listen with uh, the full mix back in. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light. The ruined life behind us is no more. Let me pull in my other time-based effects. I've got a bit of a reverb, a bit of a delay effect on her voice as well. We don't have to look too far to see the blinding light. The ruined life behind us is no more. For life and for life in You're the only thing that keeps me alive. 
So it does a really good job of giving it some dimension, uh, thickening the vocals a bit, giving it a bit of a chorus ensemble effect. But again, it's a free plugin. It's a very simple plugin. So if you're looking for really simple and free vocal doubling, it's a great plugin for that. If you're looking for something that has a, a bit more nuance to it, um, or maybe has a more drastic vocal, uh, vocal doubling effect, you might want to try out some of the Eventide plugins. Uh, in particular, I like their dual harmonizers. I also like the H3000 plugin that they have. Um, I'm also a big fan of the Antares Choir plugin. Let me pull that up real quick. This one's really nice because you can stack up up to 32 different voices um, to thicken and, and create an ensemble effect. But again, those are all plugins that cost money and this is a free plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you'd like to make a monthly contribution to the channel, you can check me out at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.